we are, Doc. Next step. We got we won the one that we wanted to win. Uh that we just we had to win. And now uh now we play uh Brian. And this one I'm gonna ask you to do me a favor. I'm gonna ask you to do me a big favor today. Yeah. If they ask you how George Clooney's character is said to have died in No Brother Art Thou, I need you to stay hit by a train and not drowned. Do that for me today. Because okay. You got to beat Brian for me. You got to do it for me. That's the biggest loss last year that still hurts my soul. So uh, I'm going to ask you to do that one thing for me. You've been on a tear. You're killing it. Uh, I think you can win this day. What do you think? We'll see. When I heard I was praying Brian, I was, I was a little nervous, but I, I'm excited. I'm a little sad that I d deprived the world of uh, Brian Menchaca too. I didn't realize that I just kind of blew that. Uh, that was the match of last year, and I'm sorry that. The rematch is happening for a while now. That's maybe. Sorry. Uh, it's it's all right. You know what, Brian? Um, I just hope that you uh, that you that you play uh, a fine game because Doc's gonna come out and play his a game. And um, you know what? Get Ian Feller in here. Get Ian Feller in here. I miss the man, but he's probably off in Yugoslavia somewhere. Let's play. I don't think he's really sorry he deprived the world of Menchaca Michaels too. Um, well, because, I, because then that would have meant that he would have had to have lost Menchaka Redshaw too, and he already right. did that once in glorious fashion. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Though. But I mean, first time that came around, um, I was going to play the winner of them, and I said back then that they were two of the best of the new crop at the time, and Menchaka won that one, and we saw how that went. Um, this time he got a second chance. He beat Menchaka. I finally get to play the other one. We'll see if history repeats itself or if I can actually, you know, uh, beat one of these guys. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we'll see. But I, I have faith. Uh, I will say Redshaw is a, a really good player. Um, he is a really nice guy. Uh, congrats on your engagement, my man. Um, and I just want to, yeah, this is one of those matches where I'm just really excited to watch it because it's two really good players. Uh, it's an instance where not my player is the nicer person. So I won't be rooting against you, Brian. But, I mean, I won't, I'll feel bad that you, you have to beat him, you know? I can't say anything bad about Redshaw. He's a nice guy, you know? I love I you. You're a nice guy too, but you're also an asshole in that way that like we're all absolutely. Assholes, I am. You know what I mean? Yeah, um, I appear I appear as a nice guy until you get to know me. Then you see what an asshole I really am. So. Exactly. You had a team name uh, name. But I have you. to be. I'm one of America's asses too. So. Exactly. But yeah, right. let's. It's gonna be a great let's match. I'm excited to watch it. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Multiplex Movie Warzone. I'm your host Caleb Little Boatman, and today we got a good match for you. It is Brian the MacGuffin Michaels going up against Cameron the Doctor Redshaw. But before we get to them. On the desk, Mr. Kirk, the consigliere Kalikowski. Kirk, how are you feeling about this matchup? Yeah, this is going to be a fun one. Uh, Ethan's right. This is a very rare occasion uh, where the Kingsman is a nicer person than the club dread member. You're, <laughs> you, it, it's, it's like an eclipse. You're not going to see this that often. Um, it's, but, it's rare. It's it rare. Is. But uh, no, this is uh, a good match. Yeah, Brian is that guy who's always kind of floating around that title scene, um, never quite making that. Uh, and, know, he's made it to a yeah, yeah. He's made he made it there, but he's never going to have that. He's, he's yeah. never he's never won the big one. Uh, and you know, he he I know how bad he wants to get it now. And you know, and, and like he said, he has these young guys coming up there trying to get in his way. So it's a matter of who you know, which one of them is going to make it uh, that, take that next step. This, this match, yeah, the winner uh, will be in a number one contenders match against Michael Campbell. Uh, so that should be interesting. So without further ado, we're going to bring in our competitors. Introducing first, coming into the ring with a record of five wins, two defeats, representing the Kingsman. It is Cameron the Doctor Redshaw. I thought Brian was a face. <laughs> and introducing second coming into the ring with a record of nine wins five defeats representing club dread it is brian the mcguffin michael uh, if i do win this the rare occasion will occur again because michael campbell is by far the nicest person in the entire league, so. <laughs> i don't want to make this video but happy birthday michael like two weeks ago <laughs> but it's actually today anyway <laughs> So, without further ado, we're going to get into round one. Round one, there are eight different questions, eight different categories. You're going to be writing your answers down. Uh, three, three repeats and a challenge throughout the entire match. So, without further ado, first question is going to come in the category of 1970s. In Monty Python and the Holy Grail, what animal guards the cave of Carbanog? I stumbled a little bit. 
but I recovered. I don't blame you. I'm glad I didn't I, have to read that one. I panicked, and then I handled it. <laughs> you rallied. Five, <laughs> four, three, two, one. Pens down. Let's go to camera. A uh, rabbit. And Brian. Uh, they call it both a bunny and a rabbit. So. Both correct. Didn't know which we one. Not, we would not have been uh, that much <laughs> on this one. Hold on. I'm just getting my whiteboard. Okay. All right. Uh, question number two comes in the category of action adventure. Shorsha Ronan plays a teenager who has been trained all her life to be a perfect assassin in what film? I sweated Shorsha a little bit. I won't lie to you. I may I still may be saying it wrong. I don't know. I, I think you were close enough. I right? mean, <laughs> it's com the complete opposite of what it looks like is how it's pronounced. You're right. You are absolutely The right. spelling and the pronunciation have like maybe three letters in common. No. Five, four, three, two, one. There's a reason we've never written a question where the answer is Sir Sharonin, uh, <laughs> at least in round one. We're going to go to uh, Brian. Hannah. And Doc. Hannah. Correct. Oh, your next question comes in the category of comedy. What character appears in Forgetting Sarah Marshall and Get Him to the Greek? I've been to Greece. Really? Yeah, when I was like... I've, I've forgotten Sarah Marshall before. Oh. Like questions or just the person? Yeah, I blanked on who, who played her. One, pen down, pen down. We're going to go to Cameron. That I didn't have anything. And Brian. I blanked on the name as well. Mm. Aldis knows, so no yep. perfect ground. The next question, Kirk. Uh, question uh, number four comes in the category of directors. Who directed Scent of a Woman, Midnight Run? And meet Joe Black. Have you ever met a guy named Joe Black? I have not. I met a guy named Joe Orange. He stole my wallet. Five, four, three. Repeat two. the question. Okay. okay. Redshaw's first repeat category of directors. Who directed Son of a Woman? Midnight Run and Meet Joe Black. Uh, Joe Green, very nice man. Mean Joe Green. Yeah, Mean Joe yeah. Green. Do you do you understand that reference, or do you say that on accident? That, that name sounds super familiar, and I don't know why I know it. Why do I know that name? Very famous Pittsburgh Steeler. Oh, in a more famous Coke commercial. I don't know why I know that name. Then. Five, four, <laughs> three, two, one. Hands down. I appreciate that joke, Ethan. Let's go to Brian. Bill Alden Robinson? And Cameron. It's wrong, but I wrote Curtis Hansen. Both incorrect. We're looking for Martin Brest. Ah, oh, that's right. That's right. Ah. Getting to your next question. Category of mystery thriller. 1946's The Stranger centers around a Nazi war criminal. Who is hiding out in what country? My favorite country is Iowa. You have a lot of Nazi war criminals hanging out there? No. We we have corn. Are you sure? <laughs> we have corn. They're, they're shifty. I mean, it could be in the corn. There's no way of knowing. A lot, a lot of stuff in that corn. There, there, there's literally no way of knowing. Five, four, three, two. Hands down, let's go to Cameron. I guess France. And Brian. I guess Brazil. Both incorrect. It's in the United States. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, question, number, number. Uh, question number six comes in the category of movie release dates. What year were Dune, Starman, and the Adventures of Buckaroo Bonsai released? Uh, we will not accept 2021 for Dune. Because that movie probably will never come out. Um, sad. 2017. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. 
Hands down, we will go to Cameron. Uh, 1984. Thanks, Zach Ward. And Brian. I had four of 85. 84 is correct. So it's three to two as we get into the next question, um, the category of romance. What 90s film is about an Irish man and his landlord's daughter who travel from Ireland to America in hopes of claiming free land in Oklahoma? How close is Oklahoma to Iowa? Not very. I mean, it, it's like two states in between. Do you but give you've got, free land to Irish people? You've got Kansas, and then you've got like Oklahoma. Okay. But even then, it's a little off to the left. This has been Geography with Caleb Bowman. Flash. Tune in next time, Jake Marigoni. Three, two, one. Pens down. Let's go to Brian. Far and away. And camera. Nope. Far and away, the correct answer. Uh, we get into uh, your next question, Kirk. Final question. Final question comes in the category of actors and actresses. Who has appeared in the films Sicaria? Sicario, Widows, and Kick-Ass 2. Five, four, three, two. Repeat. Okay, Brian Muniz and his repeat. All right, first repeat for Brian. Categories of actors and actresses. Who has appeared in the films Sicario, Widows, and Kick-Ass 2? You see on this week's episode of uh, WandaVision? No spoilers. I am okay. I had a couple matches, so I have not been with That's fine. TV. But there's a reference that's very referencey in this episode. Three, two... One. That's fair. We're going to go to Cameron. Uh, Daniel Kaluuya. And Brian. Daniel Kaluuya is correct. So four to three. We get into round two. Round two is going to work like this. You're going to get a chance to spin the wheel. If you like it, then you can keep it. If you don't, you can kind of then you're perfect. There are going to be ten different categories on the wheel. You're going to get five questions, whatever category you get. If you're right, two points, multiple choice, one point. Or if you get wrong, other player gets a chance to steal the categories. Everyone know what tonight are. Brian Strengths of 90s Christian Slater and written by James Cameron. Cameron Strengths of Oscars and IAL, IAL Diamond. We also have biopics, music, 2010, and scores and soundtrack. So, uh, Cameron, you are in the lead. We will bring your manager in. Would you like to spin first or defer? You want to go second? Let him go first? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I prefer second. We'll defer. Okay. Do man, one point difference. This is your first spin, and it's going to land much. on spinner's choice. All right, this is a tough situation we're in, Brian. Because on one hand, we could do the thing that we had briefly discussed earlier. Yeah. But um, also, you you know, it's probably best to just go for as many points as you think you can get. I think it's more important to go for points for me. Okay. I, um, yeah, I agree. Although I kind of want to hear those questions. Um, <laughs> let's take... Uh, let's take James Cameron. Okay. Let's do it. Thank you, Ethan. Uh, Kirk, you want to give Brian his questions in James Cameron? Sure. Okay, Brian, the category of written by James Canner Cameron. Are you ready? Mm hmm Question number one. In True Lies, what is the name of the fake computer company that serves as a front for Omega Sector? That is Tectel. That is correct for two points. Question number two. What is Newt's real first name in Aliens? Rebecca. That is correct for two points. In Alita Battle Angel, the enemies that Earth fought against in the fall held from what planet? Oh, shit. I'm going to need multiple choice on that one. Okay, multiple choice options are A, Jupiter, B, Mars, C, Venus, or D, Saturn. Fuck. 
five. Jupiter. That is incorrect. Uh, Cameron, for the one point still, your options are A, Jupiter, B, Mars, C, Venus, D, Saturn. Venus. That is also incorrect. Correct answer is Mars. Uh, Brian, your uh, fourth question in written by James Cameron. Who composed the score for Rambo First Blood Part 2? Oh. I would so know this. Five. Four. I'm multiple choice. Okay, is it A, Jerry Goldsmith, B, Vangelis, C, Elmer Bernstein, or D, Hans Zimmer? It's Goldsmith. That is correct for one point. Damn. And your final question. In Terminator 2, where specifically is John Connor when he is first tracked down by the T-1000? Uh, T-1000 finds him at the mall in the arcade. That is correct for two points. Okay, so it is 10 to 4 as we get into Doc Spin, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, this is your first spin. You're going to land in the category of music. Music films. Do you have to keep that? Again. I mean, it's okay, but like, yeah. I think we could do better. I think we should spin again. Uh, Yeah, let's spin again. This is the category you are stuck with. And you land on music. Okay. Use multiple choice if you need it. Okay. Now we'll give you a the category of music. If I can find them on the document. Here we go. Your first question, category of music. What is the nickname of Tom Everett Scott's character in That Thing You Do? Shades. That is correct for two points. What job does Bing Crosby have in the film Going My Way? Um, he is a priest. That is correct for two points. Who directed Sweet and Lowdown? Yeah, I'm not going to risk it. I'll go multiple choice. Right. Multiple choice options are A, Clint Eastwood, B, Woody Allen, C, Alan Parker, D, George Stevens. Clint Eastwood. That is incorrect. Yeah. Brian, your options are A. Clint Eastwood, B. Woody Allen, C. Alan Parker, D. George Stevens. Woody Allen. That is correct for one point. Yeah. Ned Beatty, Shelley Duvall, and Jeff Goldblum appear in what country music centered Robert Altman film? Nashville. That is correct for two points. And your final question. In Bohemian Rhapsody, what name did Queen have before Freddie joined the group? Oh, shoot. Uh, multiple choice. Multiple choice options are A, braces, B, smile, C, the molars, D, teeth. Smile. That is correct for one point. Okay. So it is 11 to 11. If we get into round three. Round three is going to work like this. Each competitor is going to get to pick what they want for their one, their two, their three, and their four point question. Uh, so your categories you will, you will be able to pick from are Oscars, 90s, music, animated, westerns, 
family, drama, and Emma Stone. We're gonna let them pick their categories right now and we'll get back. And to we them. are back going into round three. Our competitors, incredibly confident in what they have chosen, have selected <laughs> their one, their two, their three, and their four point questions. Brock has picked his one in 90s, his two in Emma Stone, his three in drama, and his four in Oscars. Whereas Brian's picked his one in animated, his two in drama, his three in Emma Stone, and his four in 90s. So, uh, since uh, Cameron is lower ranked, we will start with him. Kirk, would you like to take it away for his one pointer in the 90s? Absolutely. Uh, Cam, the c- category of 1990s. Name both of the actors who play the Van Orton brothers in the game. Um. Let's make sure I don't screw it up. Uh, Michael Douglas and Sean Penn. I'm sorry, document. We have Sean Penn and Michael Douglas. That is incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now we go over to Brian for your one pointer in animation. What Disney character sings the song "Under the Sea"? Sebastian. Correct for one point. All right, come back over to uh, Cameron in his two pointer for Emma Stone. Emma Stone plays Air Force liaison Allison in what 2015 Cameron Crowe film? Aloha. That is correct for two points. I guess I should have taken her at two. <laughs> we'll go over to Brian for his two-pointer in drama. Who plays reporter David Frost in Frost Nixon? Uh, I believe that's Michael Sheen. That is correct for two points. Back over to Cameron for his three pointer in drama. Right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Is, isn't that you, Kirk? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm, 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 yeah. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> My fault. Um, okay. I was getting ready. Yeah. Uh, three points in drama. In eighth grade, Kayla finishes all of her YouTube videos with one what one word catchphrase? Gucci. That is correct for three points. Now we go to Brian for his three-pointer in Emma Stone. At the end of Birdman, Riggin irreparably damages what part of his body in his failed suicide attempt? Five. Repeat. Four. Okay. I believe that's your second repeat. At the end of Birdman, Riggin irreparably damages what part of his body in his failed suicide attempt? Five. Four, three, neck. That is incorrect. We were looking for nose. So uh, now we go back over to Brian for his four pointer, which he must hit in order to uh, stay in the game. So your four pointer in the category of 90s. In The American President, Sidney Ellen Wade is a lobbyist. Hired to represent what political issue? And we will accept a general answer. Five, four, three, two. Repeat. I believe that is your last repeat. In the American President. Sydney Ellen Wade is a lobbyist hired to represent what political issue? Congratulations, Cameron. Um, environmentalism. That is 
correct for four points. <laughs> 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 you were one of the year? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, holy shit. <laughs> okay. Now we go over to Cameron for his four pointer in Oscars. If he hits it, he wins the match. If he doesn't, then that is it, and Brian wins. Okay, in the category of Oscars, uh, Red Show for four points. What was the final film to win the award for best original music, musical or comedy score? Repeat the question. For a shreepy? Category of Oscars. What was the final film to win the award for best original musical or comedy score? Five, four, three. Repeat the question. Final repeat. What was the final film to win the award for best original musical or comedy score? I hope I'm not a year off. Shakespeare in Love. And your winner, Cameron the Doctor Redshaw. The correct answer was Shakespeare in Love. That was a nail biter of a match. We were going to go to post match interviews, starting with our unfortunate second place finisher, Brian the McGuffin Michaels. Brian, you hung in there. You had maybe my favorite pull ever. Hey, lasagna, Bowman? <laughs> I think this takes precedent, buddy. I'm sorry. Fair I love enough. lasagna. I love Fair the enough. lasagna one. I, I love because of how, like, just. Abs, you can like. This is my favorite pull ever. Uh, I was, just the way Brian says, it, amazing. Yeah. Uh, you didn't win, but you played really well. It you kept it close. I, to me, that that final answer alone is worth something. <laughs> yeah, I um, I, I've seen American President many times, so it was kind of in the back of my mind there somewhere, I guess. But I, I was not confident at all in it. I thought. Maybe this, I don't know. Um, I I regret taking Emma Stone at three. Um, there are plenty of movies of her that I would have known good questions on, but Birdman's not one of them. Sorry, Marangoni. Um, I don't know, I, but I mean, it was a great match. Cameron played great. Um, I really can't complain. I kind of, I kind of, you know, shat the bed in round one quite a bit there. Well, not a little happy with my performance, but it is what it is. I had fun. I got to face another one of the. Great guys coming up. So, Ethan, you know, I guess. Yeah, no, I mean, Brian did play a great match. Like that pull, like Boatman said, was like one of the best probably ever. I mean, Brian w literally did, thought he was got he, he got. No, right. I he totally knew that. I was just is playing. It, done. Um, <laughs> and I also thought it was done because of the uncertainty. And then he fucking nailed it. So uh, that was awesome. Um, and also, I you know, Cameron played a great game. And also, that last question was a tough one, and he he hit it. So. Uh, there's really no complaints for me. Uh, Brian played a good, a really good match. Cameron just got a few more points this time, and uh, you know he'll be back. He'll be playing more. So yeah, it was, it was a great one. That is fair. So uh, Brian, uh, I assume we'll see you next in the tournament. Who will you be want to be facing there? Um, I'm trying to think of who are some of the people I still haven't faced are yet. Um, Mark Menchaca. I, I would like to get my win back against Menchaca. That's a good one I like to see. Uh, Bowman, I've still never played Bowman in singles, have I? Yeah. No, we, you and I, we have a stipulation that has never come to be that I really want to happen. I want us to play each other. We have been wanting this since, like, you and I started writing together, like, way back when. 
I we'll just I fix all the matches. I mean, schedule it so that that works out. And... <laughs> I'm assuming you guys won't say what the, stimul the stipulation is until the match. Nah. Yeah, no, you don't get to know that. You don't get to know that unless it happens. Fair enough, fair enough. All right, well, thank you, Brian. Thank you, Ethan. Always a delight. And now we're going to go over to our winners tonight. Uh, Cameron Redshaw, you pulled off the victory. How are you feeling overall? Oh. I'll, I'll know what to say. I'm, I'm like really excited right now. Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, Brian, Brian was trying to test my heart right there. He oh, said, yeah, congratulations, Carl. Cameron. And my heart rate went like this. And then he hit it, and I got so nervous. Like, so <laughs> incredibly nervous. But I'm, That's fair. Uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, now you won this. You will be in a number one contenders match. I believe your first ever number one contenders first match. Maybe. maybe. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So how are you feeling about that? I'm I'm looking forward to it. My, I'm I'm really excited to play Michael. Actually, like Michael is one of the first guys like outside of the Kingsman, outside of my faction, to like really champion me in these leagues. Like the first one to like really tell me that like I could be a great player and like that honestly meant a lot to me so i'm i'm actually really excited to get in the ring with him that's fair uh Kobo, any extra thought uh i am so proud of him uh this is a match that was super close all the way uh had me worried uh at many points brian played a good game it was close the whole time uh and yeah it's it's gonna come it comes down to my heart rate <laughs> On the four pointer, I hear the American president. And I go, Sorkin, nineties, yes. Wait, you've probably seen this. Um, but yeah, that was uh, that was a freaking phenomenal pull. But I'm I'm glad that we were able to pull this one out and win. Uh, and I'm I'm excited. Number one contenders match bound. I'm so proud of I'm so proud of Doc. So fair. Uh, so thank you to Coho. Thank you to uh, Red Shop. Kirk. Final thoughts on the match. Yeah, it was a great match. Brian had a great pull there, but I realized something about Redshaw. He's like the best like poker face player in the league because every time you ask a question, he just looks like a dare in the headlights. Like he you don't think he has a clue and then he pulls it. So I think it's definitely gonna work to an advantage. Really gonna play with people some heads. So uh yeah, I think he's gonna have a uh, a good number one contenders match. These are both players that don't look like they usually have the answer and they hit it. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what we've seen tonight. Uh but this was a fun match overall. Uh, so we're going to get out of here from Brian, from Cameron, from Ethan and Coho, from Kirk, and from me, Caleb Lilba Boatman. This has been Multiplex Movie Warzone. Bye bye, boys. Have fun storming the castle. Think it'll work? It would take a miracle. Bye bye. <laughs>